Okay, I want to make a new video of my 2005 Harley Springer down here at the Spillway. I hadn't made one in a couple of years because, oh yeah, for one, it didn't get very many likes or views. But I mean, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it because I love Springers. But I kept, when I first got it, you know, I had the apes put on it, and the gothic-looking apes, and and that, that just wasn't me, man. They just didn't go with this bike. This bike is supposed to be reminiscent of the 30s and 40s. Knuckleheads and panheads and those shovels, and it just, I don't know, it didn't work. So, and I love apes. And, you know, if you have the chopper style, like they make these with the skinny front tire and wheel, then it, it probably goes, but it was those gothic deals, you know, where the handlebars apes come up and turn and got the gussets. And I, I ain't into that look. I'm sorry. I'm just an older dude. Some people are into that and it looks good, but it just did not look good. And then I wanted to get a, a bunch of the chrome, man. I, I want this bike. I just thought it'd be cool to have a bike like this and that you could have and I ain't washed it by the way so it's dirty but whatever uh, you could have this back and have it try to make it look as close to the 40 models but yet with fuel injection because it's a fuel injected back and I just think that's cool so I want to find a single seat you know one like off of crossbones I don't know if a pogo seat I want to do something to get the single seat and uh, but I got the pipes are all blacked out, the air cleaner's blacked out, the bezels on the headlights they've been blacked out. I want to put black blinkers on it, see the bezels. And and I've seen bikes where they've changed and altered every aspect of that bike to aftermarket chrome. And I mean, they look like something ought to be in a jewelry box, jewelry, uh, uh, you know, a jewelry store cabinet. I'm just not into chrome like that. I mean, I think when you have less chrome, it makes the chrome you have pop more. But some dudes, man, it's like they don't know when to quit. And to me, and everybody got their own thing. You know, looks are subjective. But to me, a lot of chrome, a lot of that billet stuff, too much of it. Honestly, it starts making a bike look like shit to me. I'll just be honest about it. You keep a Harley kind of stock and do some good mods on it or whatever, that, but you take it too far, and to me, it just looks like shit. You know, and that's just my opinion. I mean, Harley Davidson's are pretty beautiful the way they come. You know, you customize them to your own personal need, like I'm blacking mine out. I want to figure out how to do the single seat. I've been trying to get away from putting bags on it, but I'm gonna have to put some bags on it, man. You know, the old Harleys, this part right here, this would have went round and the bags would have bolted right to the fender and then they had the hinge back here. I thought, man, that'd be cool if I could do that. But, and I seen a guy on YouTube, man, after I was thinking about this, I found a guy on YouTube that did the exact same thing. He'd already done it, made his fuel injected Springer look old. But that's what I was kind of, kind of wanting to do. Uh, but I got to get some bags, man. I can't carry anything. I bought a Budweiser, which I drink Lone Star. Then have Lone Star, so I'd buy a red Budweiser. And I hate buying Budweiser because you know Malvaney, the gay dude, man. Ugh. What's our world coming to? Sick people. Anyway, I got to be able to haul some shit. And I just think these bikes look so much better without bags. But if you're going to ride one, you know, you got to have, you got to be able to carry a little something. And then I got our chest stain. My brother had these done. That's our family seal from France from way back in the, well, hell, I guess. Goes way back to the 1600s. Pierre Chastain came here. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 17. Shit, I, I can't remember. I'd have to look. He come here in the 1700s and went to Manakita Town, which ended up being 
Jamestown where there was a community of Huguenots, Huguenots or whatever because they were being persecuted by the Catholics in France. Anyway, his wife, three kids died. But, you know, his stuff is still up there. His uh, family, his home and everything. I want to get up there one day and see it. So, my ancestors have been... That was before we were, that was when we were still under English rule. So my ancestors have been in America since before we were even a country. Anyway, that had nothing to do with this Harley. I don't know why I got off on that. But there's my bike. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. You know, getting rid of some chrome, blacking it out. To me, just give it that old school look because these have the old school big fenders. And if you ever look at these original bikes, one of the things I've always noticed about like the 30 and 40 models, Springers, you ever look, just look next time how the front fender sets over. They did evolve the front fender to make it look better. If you look at the the ones in the, the 30, 40 model, the front fender sticks way up, and I guess it was for the tire. They look almost like they're two setting up. But they they did end up making that better but you know as you know harley quit making the springer so you can't buy these bikes no more not from you know straight from the dealership all that's out there is used and consequently the price of these springers are steadily going up i've seen two that's for sale right now one here locally guy wants nine thousand nine hundred if i had the money i'd buy it. it's all black he's got a bunch of extra shit it's worth that all day long and then there's another one out in West Texas, a crossbones. And uh, man, if I had the money, I'd buy both of them. Because these Springers, in 20 more years, the average guy is not even going to be able to afford them. I mean, I know you can take a Springer front end and put it on a bike and make a Springer. But a true factory Springer, you just mark my word. Just listen to Johan. These son bitches are going to get expensive. They're already. A uh, Heritage Softail is basically what these are. And they're already three or four thousand higher than a regular heritage soft tail. So you get the so you got the the uh, the exhaust, the fish tails, all the chrome off of them. And I'm just thinking I put the beach bar back on it, black now. I got to get some bags. And I want Springer bags. I don't want just regular bags. I'm either going to put hard bags on it or Springer bags. And Springer bags for a new pair are like $3,000. Yeah, I, that's ridiculous. You can't find them used. You know, because Springer bags, they kind of hang off the bike with the fringe and all that. They're stupid expensive. So, if you got some Springer bags for sale, saddle bags, used ones, I'd sure like to buy them from you. My number is 254-493-5151. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to finish this Budweiser.